Well, good day to you everyone. Today we are going to talk about user administration in WinCC Flexible. So let's go ahead and start WinCC. Here as usual. Okay, first let's create a tag called username and the type will be string. Okay, let's go to the device settings and schedule. We will create new job at the event of the change user and we will create function get username and the tag in the tag field we will choose our username okay now to use user administration we will be Utilizing the user view element from the enhanced objects library. And I will be using two buttons as well. First will be called login. Show logon dialog function and the second one will be log off. And the event on click, the function will be the same as the name. Ok, so let's create uh, user groups and users. We will do this in the runtime user administration folder. Let's create a couple of groups. So, at the default we have administrators. I will also add operators and, for example, technicians. And here you can see the, the authorizations that the group gets. Administration, administrators can do everything. Let's say operators can operate. Technicians can operate and monitor, for example. So that's how you can limit the access to different functions of the project. Now let's create users. Here we have admin for default and we can change password for as any for uh, any password we, that we like. I will create user for example John Smith. I will change the password as well. And let's say he will be technician. And I will create Jane. Darling will be operator. So that's how we can add users and add them to the specific group according to their position in the facility. Okay, let's test it. So, as we log in, we have this dialog. Let's say it will be admin. So, admin have all access to the project as well as changing the passwords of the other users. So, let's log off and log in as John Smith. 
Okay. So we have logged on as John Smith and in the project if it is a big project we have only the authorization for the technician because John Smith is in the technician group and we log off so that's how you can implement user administration in your WinCC projects I hope this information has been useful for you that's it for today and I'll see you soon